In this daily coding exercise, we are going to see how we can work with strings and regular expressions in Ruby. So the actual summary of the exercise is that we need to build a program that utilizes regular expressions to extract specific set integers from a string in Ruby. So what that means on a practical basis is we're going to have a set of strings just like this. So we're going to have things that say web, icon, HTML, and CSS 100 with a percent sign. And we have all different kinds of strings. And this is very similar to the type of data you'd get with any type of raw parser. So uh, this specifically for a real world scenario, this is very similar to something I just built in being able to go scrape a website and to pull the correct values that I needed out of it. You may think that we could simply go to the end of the line of the string and simply pull out the last few values. However, that's not really the best approach because we have all different kinds of options here. So we have some that are at a hundred percent. We have some that are at 50%. So we have a different set of numbers. So if we simply went back and said, I want to grab the this 100%, then you would, in this case, also be grabbing a Y. So that wouldn't be ideal because the goal of this exercise is to go through all these strings and pull out this value right here. If I can select it properly, it's to pull out this value just by itself. So no percent sign, nothing in front of it, nothing behind it. So you may think that you could simply run a pure regular expression matcher and just grab any integers that are included. However, that also will not work because look at this one down here. This value right here takes in a or has a one in front of it because as angular js one dot x but we only want the 100 so we need to be able to pull only the last integer value inside of this uh, inside of this set of string the input right here is going to be a string array and you can come to this url and grab this string array and the output that this should have is right here so i already mentioned a few things on real world usage this is a type of exercise you can use whenever you are implementing some type of data parser for say that you need to do exactly what i did where you have a bunch of data that's really messed up and you need to be able to only extract very specific items and this is also very important whenever you're doing things such as big data cleanup if you have to deal with a large amount of big data many times you're getting it from sources that it's really not the most intuitive to get it from so it doesn't give you just a very nice and easy to select set of values or doesn't give you a pure array with everything you need a lot of times you need to go and clean that up yourself so i'm going to switch over to the code itself and right here what we have is in this exercise I gave you the string array and I set up a method here called string parser that takes in one argument of string array and then I also created a rspec test to know that if you really did build this correctly or not and the way you can run this is just by saying rspec and then if you're if you've downloaded the exercise from github it's in december and today's is 20 so i can do rspec december 20 and if i hit return it's going to run the test and it's going to say that we have a failure because it expected this set of values but it got nil so whenever we implement the correct implementation over here then we're going to have a passing test so let's actually get to writing the code so very first thing i'm going to do is we need our string parser to return a array so we want this is what we're expecting and making sure that you know how to read tests is also very important so right here it says we're expecting that if we call the string parser and we pass it the string array that it's going to give us back these values so that right there tells us that we need to have an array so i'm just gonna say that we have something called final array and i'm just gonna set it equal to an empty array and then from there we are going to iterate over this collection. So I can say string array 
each do and pass in, uh, let's say we can just pass in str as a block variable. And from here, what we need to do is pipe this in. And we're going to use the shovel operator to say final array and pipe in the string. But just piping in the string by itself isn't really going to do much for us. What we actually have to do is call a regular expression method here. So I'm going to use the scan method. And inside of the scan method, this is where we pass our regular expression. I'm going to grab an expression that is going to select the integers. And I'm going to use scan instead of match. And I'm going to tell you why here in a second. And so right here, I have a string. I'm calling scan on it. And I'm passing the forward slash D plus, which means that I want you to bring back the integers. And by using scan, what scan does is it will scan through each one of these items and then it will return an array of the values. So what this is going to do is it's going to grab all of the integers in each item. So for this line it's going to grab 100 but in this line down here it's going to grab the 1 and the 100 and store it in an array. And you may think that that's counterintuitive because we only want the 100 and thankfully there's a way around that. So I can just say I want the last value here, and then I want to convert it to an integer. So let's see if this is going to pass our test. So if I run this, you can see that we still have a failure. So it says compared using this, we expected that. Oh, and the reason why, look what it says. It, we got all of these items because I need to actually return the final array. Because by itself, it was simply going to be returning each that full iteration, which is definitely not what we want. We simply want to be able to return the, the final array values. There we go, and now we're passing. If, it, if you run it and it gives you just the little dot, it says finished, and it says one example with zero failures. So this is the way that you can iterate over that. Really quick, before we finish up, I do want to show you why we need to grab last, because watch what happens if I delete that, and let's try running this again. So I'm going to run this test again and you can see we get a failure and the reason why we got a failure is look inside what scan gives us is actually another array so here we have a collection of arrays and for and we had to do this specifically for the reason right here where we had two integers included in the same one so by saying dot last that's saying only return the very last item and return it to me as a string. And then from there, so when I did last, what it did is it gave us exactly what we wanted, which was only the last item. So it will only give us that 100 and not the 1. And then the very final thing that we have to do is simply call last.2i. And that converts each one of those to an integer. Running it one final time, you can see that we're all back to passing. So that is how you can use regular expressions in Ruby in order, and the scan method in order to parse through a string and return only the values that you want.